This is a Tecumseh 11 horsepower engine. The model number is OHM 110. It sat in the woods for about five years. A tree fell on it, dented the gas tank. Got a lot of water in it in the winter time. The gas line froze and uh, there was water in the gas line. And as you can see, it's a generator, Coleman PowerMate 6875 Premium Plus. But none of the issues that I have had with it have to do with the electrical aspect, just the gas engine. It wouldn't start. So, I replaced the gas line and I replaced the gas filter and the gas shut off. I tested the spark and it sparks, so that should be okay. And then I tried to turn it over and the engine was seized. So I took out the spark plug and took out this shroud, which is held on by these two bolts there, and used a long thin funnel and poured penetrating oil down into the, um, into the cylinder, let it sit for a while tried to turn it over, it still wouldn't turn over, so I used a wrench to do that. I had to remove this starter mechanism, there's a bolt inside there, put a wrench on it and turned it around to free it up. So I was able to get the piston going up and down, still didn't work. After I replaced the gas line, I had kind of a milky fluid come out of it, which was not good. Um, Came, came out of the bottom of the carburetor, which is around here. You can see the, perhaps you can see. There's the um, bowl of the carburetor down here. There's the gas line right here that goes into it. Once I got gasoline flowing through there, I thought I was in business. When I tried to turn it over, well, one of the other problems I had was that the recoil mechanism broke. In each pull, I had to take it off, pull this off, wind the rope around, put it back on, give it a pull. And once I got the gas flowing, what happened was it filled up the cylinder, so when I pulled it, it just stopped dead because gas doesn't compact. So I ordered some parts. A new recoil starter, a new carburetor, and I'm going to install those now and see what happens. The hatch is where the, you know, the gas pouring in. This is the breather unit, I suppose. And the carburetor. Torx E6. You need a Torx E6 to get this out of that whole the carburetor in place. And here's the bolt. Here's the other bolt. So the bolt goes through the carburetor, and this flange holds the carburetor in place, and then the nut goes on the end there, and holds um, the uh, plastic breathing unit in place. Now this should pop off now, I think, and it does. Perfect. Now I gotta go. You need to carburetor to get this uh, throttle linkage in place because it's on an angle. So you want to get that in place before you put the carburetor in. Now the throttle cable linkage is in place. Put the gasket on. Attach the screws. Oh, right over there. 
but you might, if you're having trouble with that, you might want to try it out. Okay, now we'll put this back on top. This particular machine has the air breather cover, the air filter cover, which can turn one of two ways. And one way lets a little more air in. Uh, one way forces the air to be drawn over that exhaust before it comes in. And that's useful when it's below zero. I don't know which it is. Below zero Celsius for 32 Fahrenheit. And it's, it's right on, it tells you which way to put out. It's above that temperature now, so I'm going to put that side out. It won't be above that temperature much longer today. I want to check the oil too, again, just to make sure that it's at the right level. There's an oil dipstick here. And it's clearly marked. Take it out, dry it off. And you have to screw it all the way back in again and unscrew it again to be sure you've got the right amount of oil in there. There's the old one, no idea what's wrong with it, except it doesn't spring back. This one springs back. This is not going like that. Uh, um, rubber inside it to protect the spark plug. This one does not have that. Tighten it, you write them out, again you can Read about the torque on that somewhere. I have no idea what it is. I just always type the spark plug to see them out. And I'm no expert. Okay. Theoretically, the machine should be ready to go. You want to turn the circuits off. There's nothing connected, but they should all be turned off anyway. So there's no draw on the generator. Turn on the gas. The switch is on. Two or three poles. Let me show you do this. Let's see. Uh, to sum it all up, to fix the uh, Tecumseh OHM 110 four-stroke gasoline engine that runs the Coleman PowerMate generator. I needed to replace the gas line, the gas filter, the gas shutoff valve, the carburetor bowl at least, but I replaced the carburetor just because I didn't want to get into the difference between one and another. And it works. As soon as I pulled it, it worked. I'm happy. I hope this has been helpful to you. I don't, I'm not a mechanic. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just make this stuff up as I go along. Have a good day.